Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to discuss, or just uh, we're going to make those animated. Uh, let me show you and these animated types of textures. Yeah, uh, beautiful. You know, uh, let's do it. Now these animated textures are very specific. These are for the seven. Oh yeah, as you can see right here, it has a bit of a depth effect here. I have no idea how to do that, so I'm not gonna do that in this video. But we are going to be doing the animation. <laughs> like uh, this, this uh, visitor, the, the visitor doesn't have that 3D texture, so we'll just pretend it's not even there. So I did this before. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm recording this in this format, this 21 by 9 aspect ratio, that's because I usually work on this and I'm going to be very experimental with this video. It's not going to be ex a tutorial exactly. Uh, I'm going to show you what I made before. Uh, you can copy that. Uh, th that's basically all you need if you want to make the the visitors face. But like right now in this video, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to look at stuff like the <laughs> I have told you. I'm going to tell you to observe shit, and that's what we're going to do here because this 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 animation is a bit different than the v visitor one. So I'll show you what I mean with how the visitor is different than that one, uh, apart from the depth effect. Okay, as you can see, we have our visitor right here, and these are basically the nodes, or uh, I can show you what's inside of these. It's a little mechanism that basically just loops these phases uh, that come with the model. Uh, I can show you what they look like. Um, it's basically a texture that if you, uh, I can show you what it does. So I'll just copy this one, go out of this group, go in here, copy it in here. Where is it? There it is. Um, so what is, what this looks like if you just, uh, preview it just by pressing control shift and then left clicking it, uh, that is if you have the node wrangler and on, which I highly suggest you go enable it's a uh, default. It, it comes default uh, per default. I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, with blender so just if you do no if you type in node wrangler there it is just enable it if you don't have that already uh, but yeah by uh, pressing control shift and then left click you can preview the texture uh, it's it's going to look like this uh, don't worry the only thing you have to do it to fix that is press control T uh, or just make these nodes manually you also need node wrangler to press control T and get this and set the scale to point five and then you'll be good that's basically why it's what it it's this way so that uh you basically can have multiple uh stages of the same texture in one texture <laughs> okay so what i mean by that is basically if you change this this location now to another 0.5 i don't know how is that a fraction i'm not sure what you're supposed to say there uh, but um, <laughs> I'm not ju just not seeing that it's not entirely perfect, but it doesn't really matter because you don't won't really see it there anyway. Uh, basically, what you can do is switch between these faces, and they will look slightly different. But not in this case, because I'm not going the right way, I guess. Oh no, it, it it just doesn't have a lot of faces. So I believe that if you go 0.5 down, yeah, it, it switches. So if you go down on the y-axis, it uh, switches from texture, basically. And if you mix those together and add a color ramp to it with a very sharp, how do you call it, follow? Uh, take constant, for example. I don't think this is the best way to go about it, but like uh, you can see that these textures appear. And why this isn't the right way to do it for um, the newer versions of the 7 is because these textures, as you can see, are very high resolution. And I believe they still have these kinds of textures, but they don't use them like this uh and i might be wrong like they're probably not using it for this for like this way in game anyway uh because this is very scuffed or they may be like uh we can by the way we're gonna change this face and it does uh, the same thing yeah look at that wow but basically what happens when you mix uh when you mix two of these versions together uh so basically we have version one would be zero zero Oh, zero, zero. And then we can we can uh, duplicate this by pressing Control Shift D and then set this to 0.5. And if we plug these two together into this mix node, set that to zero real quick and look at this now. Basically what happens when you um, 
change this vector, it's going to animate. Wow, that's really cool to me. <laughs> now, uh, why this is why like a perfect constant uh, fall off isn't exactly the right way to go. As you can see, I used a very sharp contrasty fall off here, but not exactly constant. Is because uh, you can see these uh, weird thingies <laughs> here, and that's because the texture isn't that high resolution. Yeah, the texture doesn't really have a high resolution, which is kind of obvious because like you can't really fit a huge resolution in for every four textures that is in this single texture. Uh, that's uh, like not good for the game, I guess. So basically, what happens here? Uh, this this is basically the group that animates the face and then this uh, is a value that that's just the, exactly the frame you're on so it just uh, goes by time and then this divides it by 90 so that it doesn't go very fast if you just look at it if you set that to one it's going to flash right before your eyes so, oh. <laughs> it's so fast you don't even see it change look look it's a bit too fast if you set it to one it's just too fast so 90 is good to me, to my in, in my eyes, it's good. It looks good to me. So uh, this doesn't work, again, this doesn't work for these characters because uh, they have very sharp textures and it's a whole new system. Uh, but if you want to copy that, um, uh, I also I basically explained it already. These textures are here uh, basically to change between phases. So if you can see this uh, face property, if I change this, it will change that. If, you, if uh, it changes it to two, this one goes to zero. This one one goes to uh, one, and that's basically driven by a driver. I'll show you how to set up such a driver. Um, it's a bit different in the newer versions of Blender. Uh, oh, <laughs> this texture is uh, reactive to sound, so you, sh you shouldn't use it this way. I'll just leave it on zero for now basically how you make this type of driver is uh, you press new you go in here you set the precision to zero and the step to 100 I don't know why it's this way uh, it used to be a bit easier in the previous blender versions but uh, it, it just be like that and then you call this some sort of you call it something and then set this to how many faces you want to have so uh, in this case we have four so I'll set this to three because one or zero is another value. So we have zero, one, two, and three. And then if you've done that, uh, you can uh, you can see or, or not, not this one. You can change this one accordingly. And then what you do is copy this driver, right? Copy this new driver and then paste it in here. And what you'll see is uh, not this. You'll basically see uh, you basically see I think this. Um, but what you will have to do is uh, set this to scripted expression. Uh, and uh, and then basically plug in this. This basically means that if this is set to one, uh, let's remove this real quick. This is basically the same thing as you can see. Or I mean, <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> you can ah, uh, you can just set it to end. Ah, uh, wow, okay, I I I, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's okay, that's new. So that's a bit easier. So you can you can just set this to uh, integer. And then set this step to three, and then <laughs> this to, uh, or I mean, step 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 to one, and then set this to three, and then you basically have the same thing. Wow, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually stupid. But then basically, what this value means is, uh, if this value is one, this value, the, the the vector, this fact is going factor is going to be uh, one, and if it's anything under other than one, this this value again, it's going to be zero. And same counts for this, but except for that, it's not going to be one in here. It's going to be two. Um, so if this value is two, this is going to be one, and if it's anything other than two, it's going to be zero. And then the same thing for this, but it's going to be three. So that's basically how uh, these change between mix foul mix your yeah, colors yeah that's how you get the different faces and this is basically this is basically the same concept uh, this doesn't work on anything other than mixed colors or mixed color rgb mixed nodes this system uh so don't go try you don't go using this on uh mixed shaders because it will give you negative values and it will look very weird but this works for this <laughs> uh because it doesn't basically doesn't go below zero in these mix values which is very epic it uh, makes this whole system work uh and this fraction here basically means uh that it goes and draws uh let, let me what what basically happens here this fraction right it, it draws this line uh it basically goes up and at the fourth number oh at the fourth how do you say this okay so when this value when this value reaches four or anything that's a multitude 
I don't know. I don't know how you say that. Anything that has, like, if you have four plus, four plus, four, like, anything, anytime it hits, uh, 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 a fraction, uh, is that called a fraction of four? I'll have to look that up later. But any time it hits like uh, four or eight or 12, it goes back to zero. Uh, that's basically what this fraction does. So what it, what that would look like in a, in a graph is basically this. So uh, you have uh, this graph and it do goes whap and then whap and then whap. It keeps doing that. It's basically a sinus, fraction, uh, sinus function, but it, it, it cuts off and, and it goes linearly and it cuts off like right down. And I used it, I tried to use a sinus function uh, with a lot of math nodes, <laughs> math nodes and the answer was actually very clearly just a fraction. So basically uh, we have, uh, I don't know, two here, a four here, and then this is, this is the time uh, basically. So this is a value and this is time, <laughs> not, not velocity, not to confuse this with uh, velocity in uh, physics. So every time it hits four uh, on, on this timeline, say like, I think, I don't know, every time it basically loops. So that that's about four seconds maybe. Every four seconds it goes to zero and then it goes all the way to four and then it goes to zero. And what this does is basically uh, change, mix between these four textures and I'm getting off track. Uh, this video is <laughs> not really about this, but um, I guess I like, uh, for those who are interested in me explaining this, it's it's here. Okay, so now on to the good stuff. Whoa. We are going to animate the imagined. We're going to animate the Imagine's face. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and open that file. Or not open, I want to append it into a new file. There she is. Okay, we're going to load in those shaders. Now, as you can see, this is a very sharp texture, right? Oh yeah, I also kind of changed out this, uh, this metal to be more red. Basically because I really love this artwork. I'm not sure who, who made this, but as you can see, it has this very cool velvety texture, red-ish. Wow, it's, it's such a deep red metal, and I really love that about this uh, piece. Like, everything in it looks amazing, uh, but this really stood out to me. So, I'm just, oh, no, not that. I'm just going to close that and close that. So, uh, basically, what I did was uh, <laughs> call this group a better meta, which is basically just modifying the modifying the original D color. So, if, if you want to see the difference, this is it before, this is it after, after before after i think it looks really good and uh, this is what it looks like inside it's not that huge okay but that's not what we're here for we are going to make this work oh my god oh yeah so i think i already tried to make this effect but i think i have a better way of doing that now so if we look at this actually you know what this already looks pretty good <laughs> but it doesn't look as nice and sharp as this one does Oh wow, I just found out. <laughs> it's actually very not difficult to get like the high resolution effect. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like when you have it imported. Just a uh, regular old this, like except for this uh, better metal thingy that it is a bit more red. Uh, it's going to look like this. And what you wanna do is go maybe duplicate this texture and or just uh, import a whole new ass texture, Im image texture, open. Oh no, that's not how you, <laughs> let's just duplicate this texture, open it up so we can get here instantly. Let's see, that's not exactly where I wanted to go. <laughs> Okay, so first first thing you want to do is make sure you have all these textures imported. Uh, and all these textures, I, I'm not sure what DF stands for. I'm not, I don't think it's diffuse, but because uh, these, uh, these D textures are the diffuse textures. But you want to make sure you have all these textures downloaded and all these uh, high resolution textures, of course. And then import them from the place you... Uh, and then import them from the place you exported them to. Which in my case is in a very different place than <laughs> all my uh, other textures are imported. I don't know why that happens. I have my thingy set to, I have my directory set to exactly where I wanted them, want them, but like they don't export there. Anyway, uh, we want all of these, all of those, or no, th this one we don't really need. Or so we want all of these. That's a lot of textures, holy crap. And then, no, not an image sequence. We want uh, this one. So now we have these, give me that viewer texture. You don't go there, we go there. All those high resolution textures are here. Okay, we can delete this one because we don't need it. And now we have these DF textures here, which work all good. Okay, we want that one in between those. And we wanna set all of these, we wanna put these apart. So, as I showed you before, you create a new uh, custom properties thingy. You set this to 
integer and I don't know, I think she has four, five phases. Can't really tell, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just set it to four for now or to three. And then the max is going to be three. Uh, oh, I mean the, the max is going to be three. This one is going to be one. And I'm gonna set the default value to two and then I'll name it faces. Right, okay, so we have no, they have this faces property now, and that's gonna let us change these faces, yeah. <laughs> but before we do anything with that, we're just gonna put this one aside. So we're gonna grab this texture and we're gonna press Ctrl T and we're gonna set the scale to 0.5 or 05. Again, that's gonna bring it in this very beautiful state, like it's going. It's supposed to be. Now, what we're gonna do is copy this texture four times. Basically how we do that is going to be, we grab these, move them up, press Ctrl Shift D, Ctrl Shift D, Ctrl Shift D. And what's going to be different between these, this one is going to be like we're supposed to be keeping it, or just uh, everything is going to be zero, except for this one, of course, this one goes to be 05, and this one is going to be 0.5 for the X only. This one is going to be 0.5 for the Y only. And this one is going to be 0.5 and 0.5 for the X and Y. So as you can see, it just, oh, it, it switches between these now in the correct manner, I believe. And what we want to do now is add a mix node. And if we look at these, you can see if, as we slide this factor up and down, it changes between these textures. Now we want to do that for these two, so we'll add two more of these mix nodes. So basically what happens here is going to be that this texture is going to change to this one, then this texture is immediately going to change to this one, and then it's going to change to this one, and then we're going to add another mix, 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 yeah, <laughs> to change back to the original one. So it loops nicely. That's right, right? I did that right, I think. Yeah, I did that right. <coughs> Okay, but right now we don't have really have anything to drive these mixed textures. So what we'll do for that is add a value and add a math node. Oh, a math node, which is going to be like, we're going to plug this value in here and then set this one to subtract and we'll set this to one and unplug that in there and that in there and basically do the same thing right here and then right there. And then that exact same, exact same thing, and that goes in there. So basically what this does is as this, as this value moves up, whoop, it will change between all of the four textures. But as you can see, if we keep going, it doesn't change back. Because like this value, and oh yeah, I'll, I'll explain why this uh, changes between these four textures. Um, if this value is zero, this mix is going to like give the is going to say that this color is going to be displayed. If this value is one, then this this color is going to be displayed. So if we change between those, uh, one is this color or texture, and zero is this texture. Now this right here is is subtracting one from this value. So if this is one, this mix is going to be zero. Uh, if this one is zero. This is supposed to be minus one, but this mix texture doesn't accept that, at least not for this. <laughs> uh, and so it's going to be zero as well. So if we set this to two, this one is going to say that this vector factor is going to be one. So it will change to color two. So this value zero is this color. One is this color. Same thing goes here. One is also this color. 2 is this color, 3 is this color, 2 is still this color. And that's because we have these subtract nodes. But again, this doesn't loop. So what we want to do is add another math node, which we set to fraction. And what that does is basically every time this fraction hits 1, it will revert back to 0. As you can see, it basically goes up to 1. So basically it goes up to this texture and then reverts back to this texture. And we don't want that because we want this to go all the way up to this texture and then revert back to this texture. So what we'll do for that is just copy this and set this to multiply and then four. So now it will go all the way up to this texture and it smoothly transitions because we have this first texture here and here. So it has basically has a perfect loop. And now it just works. Wow. 
And what we can do with this now is set this value to hashtag va uh, frame. And now, and now it's too fast to even show the texture. So we'll set this to frame divided by 60. And now as you can see, it animates nicely. So what we can do now is find this high resolution texture or the high resolution version, which is going to be this one and drag it over here, grab a mix node, mix RGB, plug that in there, plug that in there and set this to black. Now if you preview this, it doesn't really show anything. If you look very slight uh, closely, you can see it kind of does any sound something, but it doesn't really show whatever you want it. My cat just walked in. Bro. Attention seeker. Anyway, this color ramp will make do a switcheroo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could have just switched these uh, colors around. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I did it this way before, so I'm doing it now. But we'll make this black value come closer and we'll make this white value come closer. And now it animates. Oh my God. Almost exactly like it does in game, if you ask me. Now this might not be the right order of uh, how it animates. So we might have to change that up. But before we do that, we are going to make it so that we can have multiple of these faces. Okay, my cat is apparently joining me in this. <laughs> so he'll be sitting here, I guess, shedding his hair all over my desk. Now I want to animate this face because this is the default face and I like it a lot. So what we'll do is we can copy all of this, but that's uh, gonna let it take a lot of time. So what we'll do instead is just go ahead and uh, select all of that by just uh, clicking and dragging and then pressing Control G. And now it's all in there, put that in there. And now it's a, it's a group, wow. Which we can name to any thing. I'll just call it face, face, all the way. And what we can do with this face is go and shift duplicate it, control shift duplicate it, control shift D, and press this little two icon, then copy the textures you want to use in there. So uh, both of these are this version. <laughs> this is still this version, but like not mapped correctly. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do, ah, don't care. But we'll copy these both. Uh, Ctrl C doesn't work <laughs> in my blender for some reason, but it, okay. We'll go in this group texture by pressing tab. We'll copy them. Well, we'll copy those in there. Uh, they're here for some reason. And then we will change all of these up to work with this version of the texture. So that one goes in there and in there. So we don't need that one anymore. This one goes in there and in there. We don't need that one anymore. We'll duplicate again. This one goes in there and in there, I believe. No, nope, not in there. Where, there, where, in there, there we go. And this one, we will slide all the way over into this one. Boom. And now we'll change this four to this one. Uh, cut that out because we don't need you. And now if you if we tap out and look at this one, as you can see, it does the same thing. Now, why it's so uh, <laughs> it's so abrupt, uh, ab abruptly, abruptly, it's stopping so abruptly. That's because uh, we didn't we we have to adjust this color ramp a bit. I think it's supposed to be with a map range node. Uh, you're supposed to make this with a map range node. Uh, but I don't like map range nodes. I don't like math. We do it the visual way in this house. So if you don't like it that way, you can just get the fuck out. No, I'm sorry. I love you, I prod <laughs> So uh, you'll just have to kind of slide these around to get the desired effect. So this looks good to me. I'll just copy this one and copy it in here to make that look better. Now it seems we have this order done correctly. Uh, yeah, so that's good. <laughs> and now we'll just have to do this exact same thing for the other faces. Yeah. So press two, select the textures you want to put in there, copy them, go in here, copy them back, scroll out, grab these, mapping goes in there, texture goes in there, and in there, delete that one, duplicate it, mapping goes in there, mapping goes in there, texture goes in there, duplicate it, Mapping goes in there, texture goes in there, delete old texture, duplicate it, mapping goes in there, 
texture goes in there. Delete it. And then for this one, you just do the old switcheroo. Delete that. By the way, I do this with uh, holding control and then and then holding left mouse click and then dragging. And I can basically cut lines. Then you tap out, check if it works. And it's looking like it does. So now just do the same thing for the fourth face. Copy, press two, tab in, copy, slide over, mapping in, texture out, texture there, delete old, blam, blam, pow, blam, 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 pow, blam, 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 pow, blam, 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 pow, zip, pow, blam, pow, tab, wow. Animate the textures, wow. Now we can get rid of these and we have this little face selection thingy here these are all the faces of course we just made them and you can name these anything you want like face 2 face 3 face 4 and now comes the fun part of switching between them which we'll make with another mix node mix RGB and we'll slide that in there that in there it's basically the same concept as this except that we're going to make a driver now so as you can maybe as you can see we made this faces thingy before we'll copy that copy as new driver plug that in there so uh, what happens is is that this will go zero and go one when this goes zero and one wow but what we'll do with this is go change this average we'll, we'll go edit the driver change this average value thingy to scripted expression and then set this to if faces equals equals one then one no i did that wrong this is going to be one if faces equals equals one else zero so now it's supposed to yeah that works and we'll duplicate this node not like that we'll plug that in there and then this one in there copy this driver paste it in here and set this one to oh no not that we set this one to two and so if this is two that goes to one and this goes to zero copy this plug that in there plug that in there copy the driver paste it in here edit it to say three now we can just seamlessly switch between these values and that looks like this wow and that's basically the whole effect that looks awesome doesn't it and now you can just go ahead and plug this in your e of your shader and uh, voila it doesn't do anything that's because this mesh is set to one over a zero for me so i'm just going to set that to one or maybe a bit higher even. wow animated textures not to make it even better because usually these seven models usually have a bit of fractional added to them or layer weight in this case so we'll do that make a color ramp and set this plug this in there and I'm just gonna peek right here we have this set to 0.809 or 0.89 so we'll plug that in there and as you can see that's looking like this uh, oh. we'll flip this around wow so much better and we'll plug this into the emission now you get that beautiful gradient ish looking effect which will change to a little bit brighter so we can still see it even though it's all the way over there and if you set if you want it to be brighter you just set this white value to something brighter like two wow that looks amazing doesn't it whoa and that's basically all of it it looks a bit more confusing here because i didn't really <laughs> i hadn't really figured out how to do it exactly so uh but now I did, and it looks super tidy, and wow, all these unnecessary textures here. What are they doing there? So uh, that's basically it. That's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I guess uh, have a nice day. Ooh.